Hi, Sonia and Darren. Good evening, everyone from the Hartford Newsroom. A system of twice-a-year longevity payments was established in Connecticut by state statute way back in the 1960s as a way to keep state employees from leaving and going to private enterprise. Pay wasn't so good in those days. Well, the feeling is that their time has passed. Approximately 40,000 rank-and-file union state workers gave up their longevity bonuses as part of the concession deal with the Malloy administration. But this week, about 3,000 non-union managerial state employees is receiving over $6 million in longevity pay. A quick check of the list shows some payments as low as $217 to some over $2,000. Payments not related to performance, but longevity, years on the job. It was always our understanding that whatever was negotiated for union would also apply to non-union, and as we're finding out, that is not the case. The governor says he favors doing away with the longevity payments for all state employees, but he can't do it with this group without help from the legislature to change the law. The payments that are going out this week had already been earned. You can't take away something that's already been earned. Uh, what you can do is set about a process, in this case legislatively, that would address that issue, and I am absolutely in favor of addressing it. Not only are the Republicans going after Malloy on this, they have an unusual ally, the labor unions. We filed the grievance because we think it's fundamentally unfair for uh, managers not to be making the same sacrifice that state employees agree to through hard bargaining. There is a, a group of people unrepresented um, that have a legal right to those, and until the legislature changes that, um, we can't do it. But I'm in favor of having that changed. But the Republicans say that Governor Malloy has bound the legislature's hands because after the two-year pay freeze, these longevity payments resume for everyone. It's in the five-year deal that Malloy penned with the unions this summer. Malloy says, not so. It can be undone by state statute, and the legislature has to do it. Live from the Hartford Newsroom, Mark Davis, News 8.